guys, it is Jen, and I want to come in and talk to you guys about four ways that you should be branding your business, okay? Pretty much, these are the steps to branding. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, so the first pillar is going to be your image, okay? There's an image that everybody has about your business already. Business as in what they see, you present, versus what you want to present. So pretty much the question you need to be asking about your branding is, how do you want people to perceive your brand, right? And please know that you have a right to change the brand. And it's always great to present yourself as elevating in the brand, okay? There's a lot of things that you do that you may not even know that's a part of your brand. So make sure you're choosing to portray the image that you want people to see with your brand, not what not what you think people want to see, but what you actually want them to be seeing, right? Just like, for example, the other day I did a video. Hopefully I can put it over here somewhere. And um, when I did the video, that was, in essence, off-brand but on-brand, right? It was off-brand because everybody's usually used to seeing me come on with the hats and the shirts and the, and the sweaters and the hoodies. But in that video in particular, I actually got dressed, put my eyelashes on, did a little light, a little light beat, okay? Light beat, okay? And I presented something different. That's off brand because that's not what people are used to. But that's on brand because that's the direction the brand is going. So you can do something very similar, okay? So make sure you're portraying the image that you want people to see. That's number one. Number two, what is your message? For those of you guys who are part of my Pretty Money Gang Facebook group, <laughs> Check it out in the description, hashtag pretty gang in the comments, okay? We talked about creating your message, and the reason why you want to create your message is because your message needs to be impactful and it needs to be direct to the audience that you want to buy from you, right? So you need to have your message and you need to have your tagline, and the reason why you want to have a message in your tagline down path is because when you say this message, you're in essence making a promise to this audience. You are promising them something. Now, what that something is, that will be up to you. But your message is the promise that you're making to your people. Okay? That's the promise that you're making to your audience. So make sure your message is clean and, it, and all the things that you do elaborate on that message that you provided for people. So make sure your message is on punto, on point. You need to be telling us who's the audience, who you help, how you help them. Okay? The third thing you need to do is you need to solidify. Again, you solidifying your brand is how are you following through on the promise that you made through your message. So if you tell people, hey, I'm going to be providing you guys with comedy sketches on Instagram. That's the promise you made. How are you going to fulfill that promise? If you tell me, hey, I do luxury um, parties. Okay, you need to be fulfilling that promise by showing me how you do luxury parties. If you tell me I'm a photographer for weddings, you need to be fulfilling that promise by showing me what it is you are taking a picture of that is about a wedding. Okay, so your message has to line up and you need to fulfill that message. Okay, you need to solidify that message by fulfilling it every time you show up. Okay, and the last but not least, look at the word I use. I'll be leading into this. I'll be all good with it. Okay. Consistency. Now, it's kind of shady because I'm going to shave my soap. Okay, because there are times you go in roller coasters where your consistency will slow down. But I need for you to slow down and not stop. There's a big difference in slowing down versus stopping. Right? So you need to be consistent. And that's pretty much where will you be, how you going to show up. That's it. That's all. Okay? If you tell people every Tuesday I'm going to show up on YouTube, I need you to do that. Now, if you show up four or five times for that week, I don't care if you do four or five times. Did you show up the time that you said you would be where you'd be and how you would be? Okay? So that's something else. That's a part of your branding is your consistency. Where you going to be and how did you show up and did you show up the way you promised the folks you was going to show up? Okay, so you guys, I hope this was helpful. If you guys need have any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Make sure you guys are checking out my 
50 point checklist for brand new business owners, okay? If you're a brand new business owner, you need to get your hands on the 50 point checklist, especially if you're going to be launching your business soon. And <laughs> you watching me, so since I don't know what you're waiting for, you should have been launching your business, but girl, I ain't gonna talk. I ain't gonna go into I, I'll leave that for the pretty money gang. I'm gonna get on their head later. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.